The Society of NLP was formed over four decades ago. Uh, I know I formed it. The purpose of which was really pretty simple. The Society was formed to protect the pureness of the information that we had developed at that time and still is the same. Over the years, I've developed many, many techniques and protocols for doing many things with many people in many industries. When we train practitioners and master practitioners and ultimately certified trainers, we license these people with a certificate. It says on their certificate, licensed certified trainer. That means that they learned from me or from somebody that I trained who knows what they're doing. Because unfortunately, as material is disseminated over the masses, it loses its purity and its impact. And we didn't want this to happen. We wanted, although it's happening anyway, we wanted to make sure that people could go to the source or as close to the source as they could, no matter what country they were in, and get the best training that's available at this time. Licensed trainers and licensed practitioners certificates have to be renewed because they have to stay current in the field and they have to know how to use the techniques that we've developed so that they're used in the way they were intended so that they get the results that I intended. The Society of NLP is there for everybody's protection. It protects my copyrights. It protects the copyrights of the people that work in the industries and the manuals they create. It protects the people who are trainers and licensed trainers and licensed practitioners. And mostly it protects the end user so that you know you're getting the best form of NLP you can get trained by the person who's closest to the source as you can get depending upon where you are in the world. My recommendation is you check that certificate for two things. One, it will have my signature in ink on it. It will have John Lavelle's signature in ink on it. And it will have the signature of whoever did the training. And it will be in ink, not printed, in ink. And an expiration date. Make sure you have somebody who is a licensed current trainer if you're getting training, if you're getting a practitioner, that they're a licensed practitioner. And you can tell because the little circle R will be at the end. And if not, I would recommend that you find somebody that is. Because I created the society to protect the end user especially. Because people out there have no way of knowing where and what training is better than any other training. And if you just depend upon advertising, advertising isn't always honest. But I'm telling you the truth.